there was a big uh, protest in Rasulain, uh, in Sarikeni, Rasulain. Uh, today in the morning, I was there. Um, the protest was at two o'clock in the afternoon. Um, from the people worked from from the city center um, till the Turkish border, of course, to prevent the Turkish army uh, from attacking here and to to become to just put themselves in front of the uh, just to put themselves in front of 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 the Turkish uh, uh, army. And then, like at four o'clock, the Turkish plans start to fly in in the sky. Um, and uh, after that, but they haven't done any strikes by plants. But after that, uh, some uh, they shelled uh, the countryside and also some points inside the city with the mortars. And of course, just uh, uh, and of course, this led to 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 the civilians to immigrate to the south, um, to the south, and uh, to to the to the, the south countryside also in, in, in Sari Kenya, just to be uh, a bit far from, from the border. Some of them, they, um, they moved to Tiltamar town and the, others peop the other people to uh, al Haseka city, uh, just to get uh, a bit far from, from the clashes and, uh, uh, and the attacks. And then I came to Kamishli, um, when I arrived, uh, when I arrived to the city, I just heard the sound of clashes by heavy weapons um, between SDF forces and also the Turkish army. And the people during that, the people uh, uh, they they start to 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 work inside the city center and to have a protest against Turkey and against their attacks. Uh, uh, on Kamishli city, uh, there were like hundreds of people, as you, as you have seen on my video in Twitter, um, and mostly, uh, uh, as they said that tomorrow in the morning at 10 o'clock Syrian time, there will be another protest inside the city. Um, they they have bombed uh, many different places here inside the city. Uh, uh, I was in one of uh, the points. It was my neighborhood, uh, which is like a Christian neighborhood, Armenian and Syriac people. Um, they shelled a Syriac house. Uh, the wife, she, she lost her life and the man with the kids, um, they got injured, uh, really hard in, injuring. And now they are in the hospital. Um, it's not clear uh, uh, what is their situation now, but their house being destroyed it completely and they, they had also like a small shop um, also it has been destroyed it. I have seen some blood on the ground um, uh, it was really uh, hard like it affected me so much because I know I know them they were my neighbors uh, like every day I was uh, when I was getting out from the house they were uh, working in their shop, and at the night, the people were sitting in front of their houses, like talking and enjoying uh, with their friends and neighbors. But like tonight, and especially today, it's uh, it's another city. Was this surprising? I mean, obviously, everyone knew that something was going to happen, but was the the level of the the destruction surprising? The number of attacks that Turkey launched. <laughs> of course, uh, we were shocked from what happened uh, because, I mean, uh, we thought that like the U.S. or the European countries or the international community will do something uh, about about this situation. Uh, but we were shocked that they uh, have bombed everywhere. They have targeted all the civilians and uh, in in hundreds of people, even thousands of them, now emigrating. And um, recently uh, a journalist called me and he told me that uh, there are a lot of families that uh, now they are sleeping outside, um, just, just, uh, just, just um, in the streets. So uh, 
yeah, it's a terrible situation here. Uh, we are really worried for what, for what will happen uh, in my region in the, like, the next hours or tomorrow. Is there still hope uh, among the people that someone will do something that the international community will step in? Well, I mean, of course, uh, we still have the hope, but uh, I mean, I mean, the people here, they don't trust anymore. And, and even exactly what Trump is saying always, that the Kurdish people are good and they are heroes, but he hasn't done anything for us. Just uh, speaking uh, what he wants to speak and what is good for his interests. Um, nothing on the ground and nothing practical.